Hey everyone, welcome back to Overland Trails Adventures. And today is a very exciting day for the Overland Tundra. I want to show you the latest iteration of what we're doing to it to help extend our ability to go camping in later in the fall and earlier in the spring. So let's get into it. Ta-da! What we have here is the Alucab Cabin, which is a camper that is made out of fully aluminum, sits on the bed and attaches in the back. So you have to take off your tailgate. And I'll show you in a minute where that comes into play. It is completely contained and sealed in, so there's no dust or water going to get in. So we have a 270 awning mounted to the side of it. Each side panel opens up so you can have a window. We've got screens we've got to put in there. This is basically the raw canopy itself, so nothing has really been done to it. Around back, the alu cabin is completely sealed and mounted to the side of the vehicle as well as the bottom. And so it is completely sturdy and supported by the frame itself. It's not just resting on the side rails like a lot of campers do. What this does is distribute the weight evenly and gives you a more solid platform. Now what we've added here is an Expedition Essentials 11 pound propane tank holder that is plumbed to the inside as well as we've added a quick connect on the outside so we can cook right here and I'll explain a little bit about what's going on over here with this uh, pipe coming out the top. I've also added a reverse backup camera that has the screen inside. Let's open the door and see what's going on inside. Okay, what we want to do is show you the cabin itself before we do anything to it really so you see the raw product and we're going to chronicle the phase of build out as we go along with a water tank, um, an electrical system, uh, control panels for the lights, um, maybe a few other little things here and there that we have to uh, plan out along the way. One of the things that's actually in now, we've got to go pick it up, is a GP Factor hanging table that hangs right here with a fold down uh, table and a slide out bamboo cutting board. Uh, I'll do a full install on that as well. Now let's go ahead and take a peek deeper inside. So inside the cabin, what I've done so far is I've installed a bed rug that I got from realtrucks.com. It's going to make everything a little more sealed and um, insulate a little bit better as well as the floor here comes with padding. So it's going to make it feel a little more homey. Uh, you'll see everything here is attached from the cabin to the bed rails by these really tough clamps. And it's sealed in with an uh, item called Sikaflex. 221 I believe and what that does is makes it completely waterproof and pretty much dustproof from what I can tell. So let's take a look quickly at uh, what are the amenities inside. Alrighty this is probably one of the most exciting things about this cabin itself besides the fact that it's sealed it comes with its own bed it's really comfortable and roomy. It's the fact that we went ahead and had a Dickinson marine grade heater installed that runs off the propane it's completely plumbed in from the tank underneath all the way up in here and it comes with its own fan to blow out the heat. This is really what's going to allow us to take deeper fall and earlier spring trips because it's going to heat this entire cabin really well and uh, everything I've seen online this thing will run you out of here if you leave it on high. So we're really excited about this unit to be able to get out and get it in use. So one of the things you can't really see that well because of the shadows but this is an open hole right here but Goose Gear makes a panel that fits perfectly in this slot. And what that's for is all the electronics that come off of the uh, interior of the vehicle, I mean, or the cabin. Um, all the lights that you see around the cabin are wired, pre-wired in to this point, as well as the solar panels on the top are pre-wired and drop right into here as well. So you can install a panel for control here or any kind of control units. I'm going to be putting the Red Arc Manager 30 in with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and the control module for the Red Arc is going to go here and the control module from Oxbeam that I'm going to use to control the lights and all the power uh, water pump and everything is going to go right here and along the bottom here we're going to put in some USB plugs and some um, auxiliary power plugs so we'll have a complete power grid right here um, all the stuff will be behind here because there's a couple inches we can put it and so this will be its own separate unit right here with its own breaker as well. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. I'm gonna pop the tent up and you can see how fast it goes up and uh, how fast you can be in it sleeping. And 
that's it. Now to access the bed in the tent itself, you just step inside, lift up this panel, and climb up here and you're on the bed. Let's take a look up in the bed itself. It's convenient pockets here where you can put stuff. You've got plenty of storage space. Okay, the bed, bed itself is wide enough for two people, long enough for about a six to six and a half foot person. It's a little bit dirty because we just got back from Texas Avid Outdoors. And um, I got a little bit of blanket here. I got to slip on a sleeping bag. I left all my bedding up here, so it makes it real easy and convenient. The way I normally sleep would just be like this. Feet are at the bottom. I have plenty of room for my head and plenty of room for another person. And if you need more than one person, you can always have them bunk downstairs. But it makes it real easy. Now, one of the cool parts about this whole cabin is this bed section lifts up and matches the top of the canopy camper. So at this point, you have this entire space here to stand up, have a table, cook, buttoning cabinets, put a chair. In the Avid Outdoors uh, Expo, I had a chair and a temporary table in here where I was able to make coffee and just chill out. And it was really comfortable actually because it was all in enclosed and sealed up. I had mentioned before, all of these lights are on each window as well as up in the bed area and on the back of the door itself and they're pre-wired in and they have a white LED as well as a red LED with dimmers. The reds for, you know, you don't want to have bugs around. Now, the really cool thing about part of this section here is when you're up in the bed, you can unzip it and you have a reading light pre-wired and everything in as well as you have auxiliary plugs and USB plugs that are already wired in as well. So once I get all that wired in, it'll just be one control unit there. There's other little conveniences, like if you want to have a tabletop, you can pull this down. <clears throat> There's a pad that goes here that you can use for the bed, but I like to take it out because um, I don't really need it. We're short people and you know, this is where we are. But this can be a little tabletop where you can you know, store stuff, cook, do whatever you need to here. The material that they use is a double ply marine grade canvas that's been coated so it's rainproof and the cabin itself is double uh, canvas wrapped so it makes it real waterproof as well as uh, a little better insulation. So once the bed is raised up, um, you have this little place right here that extends out over the cab. You'll be able to you know, use this for store, um, kind of just putting stuff up here. Um, you can make coffee up here or whatever you need to do as well, but it gives you a little extra top space. Now that we've shown you the inside, we'll show you how we close it down and get ready to travel. All you have to do is pull this down, pull this panel down, and then go outside and close the top. Okay, to close the top, Shut the door. Come on, grab the strap, pull it down, let all the air go out. Stuff everything back in. Put the pin in. Now the reason why it's a little harder to shut is we have an X-pad full-size mattress up top. <laughs> but with it fully deflated, the top does come down. When we put it up, we just air up the mattress and sleep like kings. All right, thanks for sticking around for the walkthrough of the Alley Cabin. Stay tuned for more videos to come as we chronicle the build out of what we're doing to this with the, again, custom cabinets, water tank, electrical system, um, maybe some extra lights. You never know what we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm going to put in some molly panels as well, see if we can't get a little shelf section going. So stay tuned for more from Overland Trails on the Overland Tundra build out.